All right. Running a few minutes late, but if you're watching the VOD, that doesn't matter. VODs are always on time. No, that's not even true. I'm just now uploading VODs from, like, January. Shit. Okay, well, we're mostly on time. Um, and then everybody else, I guess, will get here when they get here, so... Cool. Uh, full disclosure, I don't know what we're doing today on stream because today has been a bunch of off-stream stuff. Uh, things that I can't really work on on stream. I just got out of a hour-long conversation with, uh, with Zukin and Goblin about some character design stuff that they're now working on on their own, which is cool. Um, but that's why I'm running a few minutes late. And I thought that in the hour I had before I started streaming, I would come up with a plan for the stream. Uh, but as you can see, that's not the case. So, hey, Redeker, what's up, Nomi fans? <clears throat> Take out my other earbuds so that I can talk at a normal volume, I guess, with both of them, and I'm super loud. Apologies. Unless you can't hear me now, then apologies for that. Worst case scenario, I'll just play the game a little bit. Uh. What's up, Chili Sauce, Opeth, D, D, J? Can always become a React streamer? Um, yeah, I guess. I'm not super good at that either. Hi, Miss Prime. Thank you for the follow. Hey, Serenth. I wish... Uh, I don't... I honestly, I don't... I don't know if it's as easy as just whitelisting your account to get you in, unfortunately. I would love to get to the point where I could do that. Um... I think there's a few things that we'd like to get fixed beforehand. Um, and then, uh, you know, maybe later in the year we'll get a little more dynamic with the playtest. We'll see. Icomus Prime said, no prob. Heard you were working on an EverQuest kind of game, so I had to support my favorite all time game. Awesome. Well, it's nice of you to pop in. If you haven't done so already, um, you can, you should hop into our Discord. Um, definitely check out the website. I had a revamp last year. And um, we post a bunch of VODs on YouTube if you haven't checked them out yet. We try to post all these VODs, um, all of us that stream uh, on YouTube. I think we're like 400 and 30 or 40 videos. What's up, Idafab? Jimster, Cubby. What would you guys like to see tonight? What would you guys like to do? Maybe that's the key. When I come in super late and don't know what to work on, what would you like? Teaches how to can food since you're a prepper now. Oh, that's funny. Actually, I'd really like to learn. We, I mean, we we basically know. We just don't. We don't have the equipment for it yet, and uh, haven't haven't taken the plunge. Maybe this year's garden will can some of it. Kind of want you to pester Nick to see what he has planned for class updates. I uh, can't do that on stream. Nick's at work. Nick is at work, guys. If Nick wasn't at work, then I could pester him to come on stream. But he is at work. 
dude's got a day job. What else? What else would you like to see? Let me make sure I've gotten latest. I just restarted my machine. A quest I haven't done. That's interesting. There are a couple of classes I haven't done the newbie quests on. Nick said he's on break from work and that there will be no class changes ever. There you go. You received your answer. You see what happens when you summon Nick. It's never good. We'll eat that later. Nick can't be trusted. Oh, he can be trusted. Trusted to troll you. Create an amputated finger item? Nope, you're not allowed to make your own items. That was always a rule on EverQuest, as long as I was there. Uh, and only one person ever broke that rule, and we made fun of them a lot. I don't think he knew any better. He was an apprentice when he made his own items. Made items named after himself, and so we made fun of him. Hey, Vanifact. What's up, Sparrow? Eridun made Soulfire though, but was Soulfire named after Eridun? Wouldn't make much sense, since Eridun was a ranger. I thought Soulfire was just named Soulfire, but I don't know very much about, uh... Hey, John. Yeah, yeah, so I misstated, I misstated. You can make items that you like. You can make items that you like, but you weren't allowed to make items that were named after yourself. Now, if it's true that the original Soul Fire was named Blade of Brad, then Brad broke the rule. But, since Brad was Brad and that rule may not have existed back then then I don't know that it matters um, 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 um yeah so like I said those of you just rolled in I had planned to spend the hour before the stream coming up with an awesome plan for what to do on stream. And then I got into a uh, hour long meeting right up until just a few minutes ago. So I'm trying to think of what I would want to do on stream. So I've asked you guys what I should do on stream. And so far, so far I haven't heard, uh, I haven't heard an answer that was like a, a winner. Fabrizio, hello. Um, decorating streams are relaxing. I'd considered, I'd considered that, but I meant to the place where I really wanted to do. Ooh, new low level balance. Yeah, I was saying I might just play. So that's a that's a good recommendation, um, Nick. 
But Sparrow, um, I'm going to do a decorating stream soon. I need to confirm with the folks. Uh, Ollie's been like baking out some Night Harbor chunks so that we can start applying new shaders and stuff to it. Um, so I'm afraid to go in to screw with Night Harbor, but I figure as soon as I get permission, which I wanted to do today, but then got caught up doing other shit, so I didn't do it today. Once I get permission from the folks that are uh, working on Night Harbor, um, or clearance that's not going to screw anything up, then we'll decorate the bins a little bit more. I uh, think Ali made adjustments per your feedback to Mob AC. Cool. All right, well... Let me, you know what? I will, I'll make a new, I'll make a new tune. Though, I'm trying to remember what, so I had made a halfling fighter, I think, named Cabbage last time. Um, but I'm trying to remember what, attributes fairly certain I did oh no it wasn't a fighter he's a paladin strength stamina and wisdom that sounds like something I would do um, so Azaleel's rage and anger items was somebody else ripping me yes that was absolutely somebody on the team pointing out that uh, I I have I had I don't think I have the temper I used to have but I used to get very upset about stuff and um, and then I rambled a ton I made tons of analogies all the time communication via analogy um, so I think who done it I think it was maybe John Troy John Troy and Rich probably did it. Um, are the attributes placeholder at the moment? Is there a reason why they're all 17 to 20 to start for all race classes? Uh, I, th I think they're placeholder at the moment and will be modified as we go. Um, but Nick's in chat and he can answer that. Monotonous said, count how many bricks are in the all of Night Harbor's walls. That sounds like something you would say. Um, what did I pick? Hey, Nicodemus. Yeah, everything's good. Just wound up going from... It, it just wound up being one of those days that goes by really quickly. Um, what did I pick? I'm fairly certain someone told me to do... Someone told me to be shield, because you guys were the ones picking this. Brawn. Um, fairly certain I picked survivalist. Does that sound right? It's on my other account, so. Hey, Costanza. What else? What else? Sneak? I'd probably sneak. Cool. The other one was named Cabbage, so this guy will be Turnips. Paladin, Halfling. Check, check, check. Check. Okay, I think we're good. Hey, Justin Beer, what's going on, buddy? I missed your message. I haven't seen it yet. I got busy. Nicodemus said, I've, I have staff here in 30 minutes. Just wanted to listen in a bit beforehand. Oh, right on, dude. Well, when you bounce out, don't feel like you, you know, if you got to bounce out suddenly, it's okay. Hope your meeting goes well. 
Is a plus 10 to trade skill just a head start or is it a skill cap increase as well? That's a good question. I assumed it was just a head start, but it may be a skill cap increase. I didn't read it. Nick's still in here. He can tell you. Hey, Lasaba. Let's get settled in. Um, let's see. I'm running it in the editor, whereas I was running it in the client last time. So it won't be as it won't be as smooth, but we'll see what happens. That's right. You had your eye exam today, Justin. And did you get the results? Like, do you did you get information out of that, or do you or do you have a follow up? Oh man! So I uploaded a bunch of vods today, and in order to upload the vods, uh, because I'm never really I have a good plan coming into streams, and I'll, I'll continue to apologize for that. And one of these days, we'll have more well thought out and constructive streams the problem then is i have to watch skim through the stream to remember what the hell the stream was about because it's always just me sitting in this chair and then i've got to like figure out what do i title it like what was the stream about which means i've got to listen to my voice and i hate it on days where i've got to upload streams and i've got to listen to my voice in order to figure out what to called a stream i just don't want to stream the rest of the week i'm like oh my god these poor people they have to listen to my bullshit well i guess you don't have to these people elect to listen to my bullshit which is kind of then both a me problem and a you problem Infarish said, curious how y'all are going to handle stat inflation over time. Seems like a lot of games end up going from 10, uh, 1, plus 1 to plus 10, and then end up in hundreds, etc. Uh, I mean, you know, we're trying to think ahead and, and think about, uh, basically look at the formulas with a full extrapolation and then kind of back that off to allow for a certain amount of headroom over time so that we're not just blowing everything out and then tacking on, tacking on, tacking on. So we'll see. Um, DZ Robot Nightingale came out yesterday. Pretty cool and deep. I get why people like it. Pretty slow progression. Curious if you've looked at it yet. I've only looked. I haven't played, uh, haven't per or downloaded or whatever. Um, people on the team are checking it out and posting. Um, maybe that's something I can, I can try to start to do this weekend. Um, I mean, it looks neat. Uh, I think Keith's playing it. I wonder who else. Sparrow said word. I hate my own voice as well. It's tough, right? Being a content creator and then having to like hear yourself because i don't think any of us like our voices not that i'm a content creator but you're a content creator i'm sure other content creators do that i'm not a content creator i am an i'm an incidental vodder i'm a i'm an accidental streamer pessimistic squid says i love my voice but i'm a known narcissist fair enough i'm a known narcissist I still don't like my voice. You're a paid voice actor, Redeker? D Loves Pudding says, I love the sound of my voice coming from my point of view. I actually believe that 100% and I'm not surprised. I do imagine you love the sound of your voice, D Loves Pudding. I've spoken with you. You seem like a man who loves his voice. Listening to a recording <laughs> freaks me out. Fair enough. I can tolerate my voice when I'm not listening to a recording. Of course I can do that. I freaking love my voice when I'm not hearing it on a recording.
Redeker, are you secretly are you secretly Josh Hayes? And if so, could you teach me how to make games? John said, wait, people listen to the stream. I mute just here for the eye candy. Ooh, that's what I'd like to hear as a narcissist. Look, he says, Sparrow, your VODs are good. I think everyone doesn't like their own voice. And you made Sparrow blush. Sparrow's so happy in her videos. This is like, hi guys, and it just kind of picks you up a little bit. Except for that one video she was not happy in. <laughs> that was a that was a sad video because she was she was clearly upset. I was like, oh man. They done messed up. All right, so. Uh, I need to move some shit because it worked when I wasn't an editor, but now I'm an editor. Oh, shit. Uh, my, my UI is just going to be kind of messed up. Oh, no, I can grab down here as well. <laughs> oh, man, that video, I was not happy. You were not happy. Yeah, you were not happy. You were, you, you were visibly upset. I was like, damn. I hope we never do that. I hope we never make Sparrow that upset at us. That would be a bummer. All right, so let's quit screwing around and let's kill everything in the game real quick. Fielder says, I am a twin and my brother and I have the same voice. It's weird to hear him on recordings because it sounds just like me. Yeah, it's just, that's gotta be interesting. If I was a, if I was a twin, well, first of all, that'd be awesome because there'd be two of me. See, I'm a narcissist as well. Um, but, yeah, I wouldn't want to hear him. Nicodemus asks, how much investment uh, money do you need to stream? Big investment, any tips? You don't need very much at all to stream. It depends on what you want to stream. You could stream with a phone. I think, kind of. John says, when we hear our own voice while it's talking, it's resonating with the bones in our head recorded. It's not. So it sounds weird to us. All right. Oh, what else did I use? I did use or the pious. So it's a bigger investment for Twitch than it is for you. Nick said, yes. Did you see uh, Asmin was like showing how much each of his streams winds up costing costing Twitch? Wow, man. Oof. What a business model. All right, let's kill a thing. Zukin's not here today to help me cheat, so let's see. I apologize. I apologize for, for the frame rate. I'm playing an editor. I did restart my machine beforehand, but still. Well, I'll fix my sound in a second. Oh, I wasn't looting before either. Well, just in case there's equipment, I guess. Vision wasn't as bad as you expected, 2080 and 2100. So one of Jasmine's friends, she was just visiting us, um, was, I think she's like something like that as well, like 2120 or something. It was, it was pretty, pretty, uh, Pretty up there. 
How much AC does an aura give you? Uh, buy five at little, level five. Let me... Three. Gives me five right now. Europe uses a different standard. Ah, okay. Oh, let me fix my volume. Let's start it. Let's start at 16. Let me know if that blasts your ears off. Okay. Sorry, guys. Oh, geez. That hurt. I was thinking where y'all could drop your big monolith, the tutorial commands, plane of meat came to mind. I would just have like a stone hinge of, we'll have a, we'll have like a Georgia guide stones of, uh, of just all of our commands. That's not a bad idea in Farish. I'm going to make that note right now, actually. The German intelligence service is going to read my notes one day and be like, Hans, what do you think he means? Georgia Guidestones of Commands and Plane of Meat. Say Tupusha Maticana. Too soon for you, you missed those stones. <laughs> That's funny. Wouldn't I would never imagine someone missing them. Well, time to kill seems a little, little, bit longer. 
Zukin, we're trying to recreate the other day when when you and I were playing. You were uh, you were a beast master. Are you available to recreate our our session? Cool. Now it's going to get wild. The circle around my tune is the aura of the pious that I've got going. Aura of the pious surrounds you and your group in an aura of piousness increasing AC by 5 to... 60 at level 60. Range 20 meters. There's Pattis. The Sava says, you two need a bard by chance. I would love, I would love to be able to get you guys in. I really would. Do you think, do you think in the future if we are oh man, this, this rat is twitchy. Um, do you think in the future if we were able to do it and I was like, First ten people make it in, or the first five people can come group. Do you think everybody else would be really bummed? I think they would be. A lot of people would complain, I think. Rats kick my ass this time. This rat's no joke. This rat does not have rabies. Oh, Jimster. Well, I know many of you would be, uh, would be happy if you made it in, but if you didn't make it in, you'd be, you would not be happy. Nick has asked if there are any PvP enjoyers. Orzenocker said, PvP ruins games, in my opinion. Well, you don't have to play on that server. We're going to give you a PvE server, don't you worry. Stone Listic said, just my vote. Even if I wasn't one of the five allowed in game, I would watch the stream either way. Well, that is nice of you. Nick said, we're starting up on the PvP system soon. I thought I saw some messages to that effect pop in during dinner. I thought I saw some, some uh, notifications. Sparrow said, I'd like PvP more if I didn't suck at it so bad. One of the things I, I enjoyed about the the bits of EQ PvP that I played was because it was just so kind of random in terms of it was just there. Um, it, it felt, see you Nicodemus, it felt more like it was about the social mechanisms than it was just the skill. So... 
And I just, I felt it made it like a cool feel to my experience, right? Like, so, like I said, I played uh, uh, Ixar Necromancer a bit on Ralos, and that was kind of cool just because immediately when you go into the newbie yard, you're already, you know, like, you're, you're starting to get that feel. Once you level a bit, you're kind of like, all right, any time now, anybody could be coming from me. So that was kind of neat. Um, and then on Sulan, it was just great because there was a bunch of us that played together. Um, so individually, we didn't have to be great. One of my, it ranks up there with like planet side battles. Uh, one of my favorite moments in EQ was actually on Sulan Zek. Um, there's the, there's the Karana Bridge. And I forget what the teams were. I was playing a gnome and I thought, so it was, oh, it was, was it gods? Was that what it was? Dude, I'm so bad at remembering this shit. It could. Couldn't it just... I thought it was like a cluster. Anyways, there was a bunch of us there. And I was a gnome, but I... I for sure, there were other races there. And we were fighting evils. And, uh... And people were swimming under the bridge. And then running and trying to grab griffins. Three factions deity. Cool. Uh, yeah, alright. That makes sense then. And people were, like, training mobs into the bridge area as part of the battle. It was, man, it was a lot of fun. I feel like with both Planet Side and EQ PvP, it, it allowed you to kind of suck at PvP and still be able to enjoy PvP as long as you found your people, as, as long as you found a nice group to be a part of. Not necessarily a group, a, a collection of people, it could be multiple groups. You know what I mean, probably. John said, I wonder what's going on, what, uh, what's going to happen with Planet Side now? Yeah, it'll be interesting. Um, PvP events would be fun. One of the things I wasn't a fan of with EQ was the commitment to either PvP or PvE server. The arena didn't really spice things up. Fair, I guess I could see that. BMC. I just kind of liked being able to just play on a completely different server in a different way and have kind of a fresh start. So I, I dug it. Hey, you sand. Um. Sparrow said, I did enjoy, I, in, I did enjoy WoW Battlegrounds. So did I, what was the, what was the one with like the, yeah, I made a new, made a new one, Zookin. Sorry, I didn't mention that. Um, I don't know if it was the only one, again, no expert on WoW here, but it was the first one I remember playing with, like, the various siege vehicles and shit. Oh, what was that called? That one was so much fun. Alteric Valley. And that was the one, that was the one where you're trying to basically fight your way into the, the compound or the structure or whatever. Um, and Parrish said, have y'all done any leveling in Deep Dunes? Um, 
on stream. I can't recall seeing that a long, long time ago, but uh, we're going to redesign it soon. So. Puddin said, I like the idea of certain zones being PvP enabled, even if the whole server isn't, especially like conflict zones where people could really destroy the other guild strategies with a little player intervention. And John followed up with AO had a zone like that, uh, had a zone that was PvE until you got down to the boss, then it was PvP or side versus side PvP, can't remember offhand. Maybe for some odd times. Um, yeah, I mean, it's funny, stuff like that, I'm always like, oh yeah, I mean, wouldn't it be fun to to have a random zone that works in slightly different ways, right? Like some, I, I tend to do that a lot. I don't know if it's the best thing or not. Um, it's like, oh yeah, it doesn't matter if it's a PBE game as long as it's specific to this area. Um, but that doesn't mean we'll ever do it. Um, Nick said, I prefer territory control, open world PvP. I'm waiting on Zukin, and when he gets here, we'll kill some more stuff. What's up, good times? Did I pick the same traits and stuff too? I did. I mean, if you don't remember them offhand, don't, don't sweat it. I think just the additional DPS will be fine. I mean... Where's my fire beetle eye? I haven't acquired one yet. And maybe I should stop burning this. Uh, why did I, I just set up this so I wouldn't have to open my inventory. Um, we'll see if we can get one in a minute. Monotonous says, will we have a chance to change the name of our Eminem character from a previous test? I have a character I want to keep using, but I don't like the name I chose. I don't believe so. Odds are no, unless you bribe Nick. He takes cash. Save my candle for now. It was Discord opening. I, I restarted my machine right before the stream and I realized I didn't have Discord open.
Hello, buddy. You're accusing me of dealing berries? How dare you? Oh! It's so nice outside. Bounty coat is dragging me out for a walk. If it is nice outside, you need to go appreciate that. The weather here is garbage. I'm hoping it's not raining this weekend. That would be nice. Oh man, I, I should have been over in the uh, inn, but I don't think we used the inn very much last time. Be curious to see how fast I level. Sixty degrees in Michigan. I'm trying to think, what is that in Celsius? Negative 17 Celsius when you woke up today. That's not nice at all, John said. Oof. There you go, Orcs Knocker. Oh, 15. 15 is nice. <laughs> I've gotten so acclimated to this garbage weather over on this side of the world. I went from I went from Alabama to California to Texas. Oh shit, sorry, let me invite you. Or you invite me. Um, and I thought I could never live anywhere that was rainy and cold until I moved to Hamburg, Germany. All the years where people were like, oh, you should, you know, what about this job in Seattle? I was like, no, I can't do that. I can't do it. And then I lived in Hamburg. All right, so let's pull some easy stuff first. Like a rat. Let's mow this rat down. There we go. Now we're murdering stuff. Seattle? Nope. And Halloween? That's what I thought, but having having um, having having lived in Hamburg, I, I and now here, we're not that far from Hamburg. I think I could probably. I think I could. I could tolerate it. But no offense if you live in Seattle when I say this, but. Folks in Seattle are a little strange. Anybody in Seattle? Or surrounding parts? I was just going to apologize if so. I wasn't going to continue to pick on you. Hey, Ollie. What's going on, buddy? Uh, love the rain and cold. Did the font change? Yeah. Is it too small for you to read now? I was like, why is it so big? Oops. How about now?
Oh, did the font change? Sorry, I, I read font size just because I just changed font size. So I, I didn't read what you said, I just assumed. Something felt different. Ollie, did the, did the chat... Did the font change in, in chat? See you, Sparrow. Have a fun walk. Enjoy the weather. Um, how's combat feeling today? Uh, solo, it felt a little like, you know, just it took me a while to kill, took me longer to kill things. Um, but now that Zukin's joined me again. Kind of feels like, um, feels like it did, but we'll see. We've got the same setups that we had last time we played. Ollie said Twitch finally wisened up and canceled my subscription. Refunded you one month. End of an era. Hey, Keebs, what's going on? What's up, Crescents? And Nolene said, left West Coast, best move ever almost in North Carolina now. Nice. The Sava said, mine's still going. Interesting. Mine's still going. What, uh... What level are you two? He's one and I'm two. Yeah, I mean, solo it felt... You know, the time investment in uh, a kill felt fine to me. So... Yeah, so I noticed this. Um, I noticed this Friday as well that seeing someone else run looked wonky. It wasn't specific. I wasn't sure if it was specific to the halfling or just characters in general. And there's some twitchiness on some of the mobs when you pull them and you're fighting. See the, the twitching. Um, and I've seen it on multiple mob types, so I think it's it's a system thing. Let's... Congrats, Zukin. Let's grab one of these guys while there's... Uh, we'll have to watch out for the other one.
Um, I just realized I haven't been talking. Just been thinking, thinking to myself. What do we got over there? Another scout. All right. So Ali said I have blocking trait as well, a shield. Aura of superpower. Try it without aura. All right, we can do it without aura. Wait. I have a snack. I just don't. I don't know if I'll take the time, make the noise to eat it. These wonderful M and M's, M and M protein bars. Oh, I didn't even consider the fact that it's thematically appropriate. They are delicious. Mm-hmm, so good. Hey, Simon. Nick said, I hear black helicopters in the distance and Simon appears. Checks out. Mmm, that's so good with coffee too. It barely tastes like a protein bar. Between all the monster and M&Ms you consume on stream. It's all part of the uh, it's all part of the plan to embed us in everyone's subconscious. My favorite old protein bar was uh, it's Secret Angel Investor, Mars Incorporated. That would be nice. Um, my favorite old protein bar was the Metrix um, cookie dough bar, the original version. Boom. Your favorite protein bar is steak? Mm -hmm. Well, somebody's fancy. If only, if only everyone could have heard your beautiful accent when they, <laughs> when they read that out. Puddin's old fancy ass. Mm-hmm. You've got that... You've got that West Coast... West Coast... Bay Area accent. Fraser accent. <laughs> That's what it is. That's a better description. Dude, I like it even more now that you said that, Ollie. Oh, shit. All right, guards. Let's not even bother. Eminem trail mix is delicious. Guard. Do I have taunts? Um, I thought I have provoke, but I didn't use it last time, so I'm not using it this time. I'm basically I'm trying to trying to play this as close as because uh, last time I was just going to see how far I could get without using anything but uh, my heal.
Now I just want a huge bag of M&Ms. My work is complete. Our check will be in the mail. Seems like you hit pretty low damage and I pull aggro with one hit. Well, sounds like you're just trying to brag. You know, you're trying to shame me. Trying to make me feel bad about my damage. I don't know that I appreciate that. I don't know that I consider- oh god, there's scarabs right there, what are we doing? Ollie, are you seeing the scarab be stupid? What did it do? It didn't do anything. It just kind of, uh... Oh, sorry. Fire Beetle. Not Scarab. It just kind of stood there and, and twitched for a little bit when we ran off. We'll do it again. Watch. I think all we got to do is... Instigate an altercation with another Fire Beetle. Oh, let me turn that off. And, uh... Preferably one that's... Yep, there he goes. There he goes. It's an optimization you made recently. Did not go according to plan. Fair enough. Um, do you think that's what's causing some of the twitching on some of the other mobs? Will there be shadows caused by the torch you're carrying? Don't see it at the moment. Um, I don't believe so. I think that would wind up uh, breaking the bank in terms of uh, performance. But I think I've asked in the past if we could do it. And have it be limited. Like LOD it out. There are new shadow setting and optimization. Let me check. I haven't looked in optimizations in a bit. Simulate cloth. Enable head tracking. Shadow distance. Ooh. Quality level ultra. So yeah, if you like if you like candy bars and you like protein, they have the full they have the full like 
sweet of them. See what I said? Sweet. Where's the pun? Mars bars, Snickers bars, M&M, M&M Krispies, Peanut M&Ms, the Bounties, meh. Kind of like the Bear Bell coconut better. Wait, if M&M sponsored M&M, and then you can make all the capsules M&Ms. And that's when they realized it's been a shameless product placement venture the whole time. <laughs> Longest commercial ever. So I will, I will give our game credit for one thing for sure. The second I start playing it in a group like this, I, I'll have to watch the VOD and see just how much I'm not talking because I'm realizing that I, I've just stopped like, <laughs> stopped talking. I'm just, I'm immediately enjoying myself and uh, kind of zoned into the game. Just here to show gummy bears and slices of ham. Oh man, a ham sponsorship. Haribo is fantastic. I don't know what it's like in the US. Do you guys have a ton of different Haribo options yet? Uh, we have entire like half aisles of different Haribo. Oh my God, it's so good. Ali said the silence is perfectly okay. Awesome. We'll do more of that. Listen to the wonderful music and the crickets. Um, So next week I will be streaming, I'll be streaming Wednesday, but not Friday. Thursday I go in for my surgery for my finger, so I'm thinking Friday's probably not going to happen stream-wise. Um, but who knows, maybe I'll stream Monday and Wednesday or something. Kitty mom, thank you for the follow. Oh, what is Zookin attacking? Nothing that Zookin need help needed help with. Let's kill uh, Scarab then. Carabos are always my request if anyone I know goes to Germany. But someone was uh, Fielder was just saying that you can get them in the U.S. now. Uh, where do you get yours, Fielder? Uh, 
Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Um, Zukin, what I may do is, after we recover from this, I'll actually play correctly. I'll load Provoke on as well and see how that goes. So it'll be different than last week, but we'll see, we'll see how well we can do. Alright, cool. So, um, what armor do I have? None. I've got the starter armor. Why does my shield icon have a countdown timer? I think that's a UI bug. Um, so it's showing, see, it's showing the, um, the torches countdown. No, it's not durability. It's because I put the torch in here and I created a bug and I didn't notice it until you just mentioned it. Cause I'm just swapping items on my hotbar. Sorry for chewing in your ear if you can hear that. Oh shit, I totally forgot to do the thing I said I was going to do. Hey Chad Solo. That spell seems a bit broken later in the game. Which, uh, which spell? Braun? Based off what you read just now or based off of actually using it? Uh, I see what you're saying. Alright, so we've almost dinged again. After we ding, next time we go to recoup, Zukin, we should run into the inn and recoup in there and see if we can get the experience bonus.
Dang, you take so much less damage. Yeah, I was just playing the way we played last time, so... It's all goofy. Also, you're trying to put skills onto your spell bar. I put skills onto my ability bar. Yay, level three. No, Justin Beard, I, I have not come up with... Oh, wait, I did kind of come up with a god, but I, I haven't written it down. It's in my notes, though, that I have over here on the other monitor. Ever heard of RuneQuest, old school tabletop RPG? Yeah. Why do you ask? Their gods and pantheons are great. I could have sworn that's why I actually... Because somebody had suggested that like a year, year and a half ago or something, maybe? I don't know, my, wasn't you, was it? Maybe you suggested it. How long have you been around? Okay, somebody, I think somebody suggested it. If I had to guess. Oops. If it's what I'm thinking of, I'm fairly certain. Let me look it up really quick. As soon as I see him, I'll, I'll know. Rune quest gods. Yep, for sure. Gods and cults. Gods, goddesses, and deities. Gods. Yep, 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 yep. Lots of cults. We haven't gone. Uh, we haven't gone deep on um, religion. Now that we've got Nicodemus on the team as well, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Sorry, I'm not taunting, buddy. Sorry, Zukin. Um, Zukin, you're also you're always free to hop into voice if you like. I'm I'm always down to bring you into voice. Would be interesting if players could make cults. Thought about a lot about having different cults players could join essentially. Didn't think about making one. Let me type that in with a quick note. It'd be one of those notes that ends with a question mark. Player made cults. Uh, maybe, maybe it's one of those things that uh, eventually raise a god of their own. Interesting. Couldn't that be like a guild ability? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, is that is that like a weird? Is that like a cult, a, a guild thing? Guilds with rule sets. Yeah, there's got to be a way to like systematize that a little bit. That would be interesting. That's a great question. You guys, there's some some gems that you guys come up with. Let me type in a couple more notes. Guild rule set.
Major Conan, something like that. You could have different structures for your guild, military, democracy, etc. Um, yeah, it's interesting. AOC is doing that stuff as well, right? Or no, they're doing it at like the node level. Or is it also at the guild level? Okay, I'm back so you can... dare you? That was not a fight you wanted to pick. <clears throat> oh, you want to make one of those? Go see the shady guild master in the sewers. It's a whole different guild structure. You gotta go to a different NPC. Only problem is all the cults would basically be how terrible People can be, given how games work. Oh cool, let's hit the end. That you get your mana back. Well at least then all the terrible people would be together. There's always going to be terrible people, so I think the more that you can help terrible people just kind of congregate in one spot, the better. Just wouldn't want everyone out to ruin the world. Well, I mean, we did incentivize not ruining the world as well, I guess. JD Volta above said cult of necromancer located underneath the city. Well, then that that would be an interesting question like if you if you had necromancers and they formed a cult players. Yeah, would we do we have appropriately sketchy housing for them? That'll be an update. We don't at the moment Monsters and Memories, update for the month of March. Sketchy sewer housing. Hell Island, Justin Beard, watch out. That's too spooky. We have appropriately sketchy housing past the docks in the bins. <laughs> Ollie, that that house isn't on the island anymore. The blue and white house that the blue and white house that Simon put on the island isn't on there anymore. <laughs> I was like, dude. Instigator. Nick said, I, I, I need a sewer house. I'll be neighbors with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, I could see that when we put the turtles in. When we do our crazy... Crazy reptile and amphibian expansion. Coverter said, Love the rain effects and atmospheric music. Can't wait to get back in the game again, even if it's just to hang out and relax.
Go behind the night market left before the bridge. Okay. Oh no, that, that basement house is secret though. That's secret, Molly. Converter, by the by the time we uh by the time we let you guys in in, hopefully we'll have some more weather effects. Some different weather effects. But even the weather feels different like when I was hanging out in the forest biome. It was it was even cozier like being in a forest. Ollie, we'll have to put in a different, we'll have to put in a different one for you. A tornado in the plains? Why not? Why not? Ollie will make it happen. I don't think this indicates yet when you're full up, but it's been a couple minutes, so we should be good. I guess we're not. Hmm. Oh, don't know if it worked while exposed to the rain. Oh, that's a fair point. Does the in and fire experience buff? Nick, are you just trying to make me happy right now? No? That's not a good answer. You could have lied. You could have said yes. No, but I guess that means that's even better because that means you really do want it, which is an even better answer. Zukan was popping. Okay. Awesome. I've got to see if I can... Man, I wish I could get into my old, uh... I wish I could get into my old Dropbox. I swear I pitched that. The, the pitch was basically... Imagine this. It's in the future. But it's Freeport. Layers upon layers of ancient Freeport. Gnomes in twenty, yep. Yeah, gnomes in twenty seventy seven, yep. Yeah. Dude, I I so wanted an EQ Shadowrun game so bad. Cyber Harbor twenty seventy seven. We'll have to work on the name, Justin. Mechs and memory chips. Zukin, okay, so Zukin, Zukin's on your side, Justin. You've got one vote from Zukin now. I stand corrected. Nick said, when I was a kid, I basically imagined a sandbox game that takes place in Midgar from Final Fantasy VII, where you could have cool underground hideouts fronting his businesses, and then you could stick it to the man. You sound like a cool kid. I dig it. There's just something about those like cyberpunk sort of megalopolis cities that's so cool, like built layer upon layer upon layer upon layer. And all the old original city is just kind of like the undercity. Oh man, I love them. I was watching um, uh, a couple months ago. I'd forgotten about what was it, Galaxy Express, the old anime with the the nine 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 train thing, and in the beginning of it takes place in a mega city like that.
Coder and Sweater had some of that. The Undercity of Corsica. Yep. Then we just turn dust and loose on that game and make the next no picks. Yep. That'd be awesome. That would be awesome. Uh, somebody said something nice a minute ago and then I read it and I was like, oh, that's nice. And then I continued my rambling and I'll take it right out. Super Caker said, enjoying your stream while playing some Quarm in Lower Guck. Love the rainy vibe. Awesome. I'm glad you're enjoying it. What are you camping? Oh shit, power up. Oops, sorry. Trade first, then power up. Now I have actual AC. I'm up to 12 AC. Let's kill some more skeletons and get, get you some AC. Um... Camping in safe hall at the moment, trying to get a named camp. Right on. I wish you luck. Neocron. I remember Neocron, German cyberpunk game. Even had topless strippers in it. That's how you know it's a German game for sure. Not Omicron. Neocron, it was a, it was a cyberpunk game. Oh man, I'm getting loaded up. Super tank. Zukin, after this skeleton, we should go back to the end now that it's not raining. Yeah, I played, I played Neocron a fair bit because I'd really wish that AO was more like Neocron in terms of um, in terms of just kind of being a less a little bit less futury and more cyberpunky. Um, at the time, I believe that. Now I think AO is probably a cooler setting as well. But Neocron was just so janky. Let's sit here for two minutes and then we'll go. John, you'll have to break down at some point what all the what all the good ideas were that you that you thought Neocron had. Just not the topless part. Well, now you're making me starting to question whether or not we should make the, uh... The whole leisure, leisure Suit Larry Island Adventure game that I was thinking about. Wouldn't that be a fun MMO? Goblin stripper poles. Weren't we talking about that last week as well? It's not just a halfling thing, right? Is it all characters?
So my um my hearth buff is not sticking. Can we check if it's all characters or only Shaneline? Yeah, I can I can log in another character really quick. Hold on one second. Let me camp out. I'm looking for Shane Lloyd. Oh. Zookins also. Um, wonder what Zookins picking. All right, he's a goblin. I'm a human. Food time. See you in Farish. Zookin, how's it looking? You're looking a little... You're looking a little squirrely. Still twitchy? Yeah, you look you look twitchy as well. At first I thought it was just because you're a goblin, but I think... Yeah, it's just... It's twitchiness. Well, hey, at least it's consistent. I think it's faster for me just to relaunch. So let me, I want to hop back in on my other guy. Ali thinks it may have something to do with the changes related to player controller size. Interesting. How would that affect... Is that linked to the animations? Oh my goodness. Maybe this won't be faster. Thought this would be faster than camping out, but I don't think it is.
Keith, did you change your name? You can use camp fast to camp instantly? Oh. That's awesome. Nice. Ali said, yeah, it had to do with how movement speed buffs apply on gnomes versus ogres. Oh, I still... Oh, oh, that that's what you were fixing. But then the controller changes are affecting all animals then, you think? Carrot says, a random question, are key rings going to be a thing? Well, we've already we've already put in a, a kind of a key ring. Um, whether or not it becomes a more of a feature than our, our current little hack of a bag that only holds keys but can hold a lot of them. Um, I guess we'll have to see. But I'm going to have to try that uh, next time. Nick slash camp space fast oh did it did that actually work did it change my so no it would have done it before then right because I changed my options and I swear I look a little different now on the texture Quality level, no, quality level is ultra. Okay. Psychosomatic. A visible equipped key ring would be cool. Like a big old like janitor key ring right here. Oh, that would look kind of cool. Sparrow said that was a glorious walk. I am jealous. Well, I could see I could see a vanity keyring being pretty dope. But man, that would I think that might be kind of hard to pull off technically. Now I could see being able to wear a key. That's a hell of a lot easier since it's one item. Like a big sub key or whatever just hanging there. Is there a certain number of players each zone can hold before a new instance starts? OG proof ass. Um a new instance does not start at this time. We don't we don't do that. We just jam a lot of people into a zone. I think the max I've seen in a zone, and it wasn't performant, this was our early stress test. I think the max I've seen in a zone was like six or eight hundred. It was something ridiculous in Night Harbor. But then more recently during the play test, I think we were rocking about 350 to 400 in Night Harbor. Close to that. So, right now, in Night Harbor is a ridiculously big zone. Um, so, right, right now, it's... Yeah, it's... I mean, Night Harbor, in theory, we could find some places to split it and put in some zone lines and stuff if we wanted to crank that number up even more without having to do much more on the technical side, but Ollie can speak to that stuff more than I can. Um, so I said, I'm so out of shape though. My muscles and my legs are twitching now. Need to walk more. Walking's good for you. Walking's underrated. People always think about jogging and running. Walking's great. Walking, and then if you get comfortable walking, walking with a little additional weight, little maybe a little backpack, um, Weight vest, something like that. Walking with a additional load on is really good as well. A little backpacking. Think about doing that more when the weather gets better. I was going to look into some of those, like, you can get, like, the, the, 
the just the weight plates. I'm one of those crazy, crazy folks that has a plate carrier, so you can take the old ceramic plates out, put them away somewhere safe, plop in one of those nice weights, go for a walk, and still look like a lunatic. Remember when this game looked like a pylon floating around in the darkness? It's amazing how far you come. What's up, Gliatska Ball? Girl said I used to backpack and canoe in Algonquin Park. I could carry an 80 pound pack in a canoe. That was me, I got that sounds badass. I like the sound of that. That sounds pretty cool. That just the image of that's inspiring. Man, that sounds like fun. We've got these crazy water canals everywhere around here. So up where our garden is, so we've got that garden like two kilometers from here. Um, our garden plot, and, uh, oops, sorry, and, um, and it's just got these water canals everywhere, and they go for, they just go for miles out through the farmlands and stuff. I'm really tempted to get us a canoe at some point. Ever ride a narrow boat? Nope. I've done kayaks, and I've done canoes, and I've... A couple times ridden in those fun zodiacs. Algonquin Park, Ontario, Canada. I have to look that up. I keep hitting... I'm so used to my taunt being the first key. I need to... Maybe I need to switch that. A sea jack, what's going on, kiddo? What country are you in? Before you say anything else. I want to look up Algonquin Park. Hold on. Oh. Oh my gosh. The pictures I'm seeing up, like, on this boulder looking down, man, that looks a lot like Sweden. That looks... Where I lived in Stockholm, I lived pretty central, but it was just like a five-minute walk to the edge of town. Um, and there's a there was a wonderful lake and park there, and, the, like, the... You can rent uh, canoes and kayaks, and uh, or you could walk, like you know, hike around the lake. is only like thirteen or fourteen kilometers. Cjack said, "Still in Stockholm, Avalanche is treating me well. That's nice to hear. It's good to hear. Stockholm's a beautiful place. We talk about it a lot. Um, the Haga Parken." Let's see, Jack. Uh, I'm trying to remember what direction that is, but I always, I always say Svevagen the wrong way, so Swedes always wonder what the hell I'm talking about. But essentially, if you just follow Svevagen down to um, Hagapaken. I'm trying to think of what, what a line that would be like. So it's the road that King is on, or was on. That big one that goes through the middle of town. Puddin says, I miss Stockholm. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah, up near Solna. Um, I think you could get off at like, uh, St. Eric's Plan or something like that if you're on the train.
New secret skill unlocked. Ride of Fire Beetle. Speaking of, we will be we will be putting mounts in at some point. I could see that. We could just use like a beetle or something for uh, for the smallies. So Jasmine's still maintaining her Swedish. Um, she she actually was with her Swedish book club right before the stream, and then. Um, and we're watching a series, a crime, supernatural crime thriller, um, that's Swedish. And it was cool seeing Stockholm. We got a little homesick. Let's see. Sparrow said, I had three wolves walk through my camp one night. Another time a mama moose in her cafe as well. So that, that seems kind of scary. Our little dog would want to chomp her to wolves, and that wouldn't go well. Ooh, warrior. Do we think we can take him? A sheer of warrior. Let's do it. Let's try it. Wasn't scared of the wolves, but the mama moose made me nervous. M moose are crazy. They're so big. They're so big. Oh, we got it. Oh wait, it'd help if I was actually targeting him, huh? Sorry, I was gonna still gonna heal myself, but then I wound up chasing. Um, let's see, I missed some stuff. Arvist92 said, how cool. I think the last time I was in here, the characters were a little floating gray beans. Love to see the progress here. Oh, right on. It's nice when people come back after a while. There's so much for you to see. Holy shit. Have you checked out the website anytime recently, Arvis? Check out the updates on the website. You gotta check it out. We have an all new website even. Went live last year. Let's see, what else did I miss? Um, used to live near, how do you say, Vostrogskogen. It's nice up there. South of town, near, now to be near friends. Oh, that makes sense. All the cool folks are in the south. Um, John did not have a good time in Stockholm, but miss it. It's a syndrome. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, disease back. Oh, wait. It's not as deadly as I thought it was. For some reason I thought they were higher level. We're good. Uh, yeah, Justin Beard, the uh, the show is kind of it's kind of weird. JD Volta, what are you asking about run speed effects? Do they exist? Yes. Zukin, I can't wait. I can't wait to, um, I can't wait till you, you've got some time to put aside to just work on some more spell effects. I really like the stuff you've done so far. Um, plants for others, spell effect, uh, uh movement, move speed effects and stuff. Of course. All 
I mean, even even this aura, if it was just maybe maybe more more alpha, I would see like how faint you can make this one. See what that looks like. Dude, we just wrecked it. Cool. Let's find more stuff to destroy. Gliatskabal said, I almost hit a moose on the highway last year. I dodged her, which is why I'm able to post today. That's so sketchy. And those poor things, they got those long old knobby legs. I mean, they don't want to get hit by a car either. Oh. There, there you are. There's Beast Girl. Let's go. Let's go see what the mobs are like over here, uh, past this ruined wall, since we're level three. Is there a great tit bird call in the nighttime ambience? I, uh, there is a bird that sounds kind of wild in the nighttime, a nighttime ambience, but I don't know what kind of bird. You'd have to ask a Robert. Pissed off. What's going on? Looks like a freeport. I could see that because it is a port city in the desert. Totally unintentional. Just a coincidence. Change E said, just finished my workday, but I've been lurking. I wanted to say for old school auras and Dayak, the Reaver class had some cool ones. If you want inspiration for pulsing effects. There you go, Zukin. When the sun comes back, when the sun comes back up, pissed off, we, uh, I'll, I'll cheat and I'll fly up in the air and show you the city if you haven't seen it before. Thanks, Jenny D. Hey, uh, Zukin, a large desert bat is kicking my ass right now. You can you can stand there. I'll run around if you want to hit me a couple times. Thank you. Boom. Teamwork.
<laughs> you were writing down Chinny D's suggestion. I thought you were. I thought I was fairly certain you were. Is conning a thing? Yes, it is. Did I con that mob before attacking it? No, I did not. I'm very curious what those mobs con. I feel like it was a miscon. Yeah, because it said even. And we've been... It's just, I think what it was was because I just wasn't thinking. Um, even plus me whacking on it by myself. Man, I wish I had some wood. I would make a... Uh, I would make a campfire for us. Phrasing. Oh, man. Just because you heard dirty didn't mean I, I meant dirty. That's on you. Love fire beetles. Glow is even better than EQ. Right on. That's some old ass glow too. That that glow's been on there for a while now. Let me see. I think I need a lumberjack axe. I don't think I can just gather the wood. It's been so long since I did any wood gathering. Let me see. I'm fairly certain. I do not have the correct tool for this job. Oh well, I was gonna make us fire. I don't wanna cheat. Whacking on it by myself. Wish I had some wood. Sean 2024. What's he doing in there? Away from the other room. Now, she rarely she rarely listens in or watches. But she's got the family watching the stream to keep an eye on me. They'll send her a message in a minute. What was Sean doing? Whacking with the wood? Warf rat. Now we know why Sam <laughs> Minim has sandwichy combat. Listen, how you spend your time camping is your business. As long as we don't have any Jeffrey Tubin incident incidents. Keep keep it off the of Skype. Uh. Enoch, that's disgusting. These snakes poison me. I don't think they do. After living in an old house with too many cracks for a long time, those cricket noises are PTSD for me, man. Viking nose, man, I'm sorry to hear that you didn't enjoy your crickets. Back to business. You really don't want to try hell divers too if you don't like bug noises. Man, the videos for that look fantastic. Fantastic. Oh man, John, that was the best story. Thanks for recommending. What did John recommend?
Should we roast it to end? Sure, let's go do it. Let's go try it. The the rest bonus was not sticking to me now. The Stroud's best story ever on YouTube. Interesting. Here, let me open it. I'll do it. I'll run a search in another tab. Okay, cool. Do archers have an auto shoot or do they have to click? They've got auto shoot and not only do they have our uh, auto shoot, but it automatically transitions you to melee once the uh, target breaks sort of the uh, min distance for archery. So you just automatically transition in and out of melee, which is really fun when you're meleeing something and it flees and it runs off and you automatically shoot it in the back and you feel like a champ. So there's a dead zone mechanic, but the, um, but it auto transitions you into melee instead of like just range going dead and you having to realize it and then switch over. That is an acceptable quality of life change, I think. When people are like, quality of life, to me that seems like a fair quality of life change. So we're just coming in here for a few minutes. Two minutes should max out our uh, our cozy meter, get um, warmth of the hearth applied to us, and then that'll give us an experience boost. I forget, do you guys remember? Um, does it also provide uh, like a regen boost of like a point or something? I forget. That cold coffee tastes good. As you notice today, I'm not drinking a Red Bull for the stream. I am drinking some coffee. And it's even, it's only half caffeinated, half decaf. I figured I'd try that out for, uh, for tonight and see if that actually works. You noticed the lack of sass? What? Maybe that's a good thing though. I've been extra friendly tonight. Trinity, did I read this out loud or just read it? The ranged melee transition is really cool. Somebody in my group during the test was shocked you guys had that set up. What? Do they not know we are professionals? Found this Russian nootropic they used to give to cosmonauts. Phenotropal, great energy boost, plus clean. The first sentence makes everything after that seem very suspicious. On the list of 14 best nootropics. I forget, I was taking, so I was living super clean when I moved to Sweden. Um, and I forget what nootropic I was taking, but one that was like highly recommended at the time. And speaking of which, I actually need to, need to forget, I need to not forget to take my creatine tonight. I usually take it in I'll, so I'll mix yogurt with uh, protein powder, like just plain yogurt with protein powder, and I'll throw my creatine in in the morning. But I didn't have my, I didn't have my yogurt this morning, so I was like, oh shit, I need to just throw my creatine in some juice before bed. But creatine's um, creatine's really good for your brain function as well. But anyways, I was uh, I was eating really well running a ton, 
working out. Everything was good when I moved to Sweden in terms of like diet and the nootropic. And do you know that creatine only works if you're working out right? Uh, that is incorrect, Dark Inside. I can recommend a couple hour podcast with a, uh, with n I believe a neurologist that gets into the benefits of creatine for everyone uh, because of what it, uh, what it does for your brain. And it's good for people in general, just because it helps your uh, helps your cells um, uh, hold water. I believe is what they're saying. But if you're truly interested, I could try to dig that up for you if you let me know on Discord. I think it was probably one of the Huberman podcasts. But they're they're finding that creatine um, regular creatine consumption is actually really good. Sorry, I keep hitting the one key. Really good um, for your brain and may actually help with uh, either prevent or reverse, mildly reverse some effects of neurodegenerative diseases. Yeah, creatine, BMC says creatine is so heavily researched at this point. What you say is spot on five grams a day for anyone is a no-brainer. Yeah, it's like creatine and vitamin D are, are two that's just like everybody should just be taking. Creosote? Yes, that is not as good for you, I don't think. But creosote is an amazing word when used in the song that is the soundtrack for True Detective Season 1. Four months alcohol free, uh, it helps with that as well. Enoch, you're four months, months alcohol free. Or were you counting my months? Yes, sir. Right on. Yeah, Jasmine and I said, decided we were going to do one year without drinking. And that was mid-August. So it's been, what, at this point, six months? August, September, October, November, December, January, February. I just passed seven? Did I do that right? The main thing I found was not drinking. And guys, don't get me wrong. I'm not I'm not preaching that anybody doesn't, you know, if you want to drink, please do. I enjoy it thoroughly. Um I just found that I'm so much more productive now. My energy levels, my my like peak energy levels, I don't think are necessarily higher, but my negative energy levels have gone away. Enoch said, feels so much better never having a hangout. It's so wild. Like the realization of how much time was lost just from feeling a little eh. And dude, not being grumpy. Cause I'm a grump. I'm so grumpy. Yeah, this is me not grumpy. Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. A grumpy robot. <laughs> That just seemed too true. I just figured I could be a loving robot, but also always be grumpy. All right, so those of you that are that those of you that are watching the stream and not just listening to the seductive sounds of Robert's music and spell effects, um, here's an interesting question for you. 
or maybe not that interesting, but I'm interested. I've been playing without a light source this whole time. So if you're watching a stream and I'm playing without a light source on that stream, has it been too dark for you? Do you think that it's not compatible with streaming? Too dark for you? All right. Well, spell effects advance or look at certain levels. Uh, we hope so, yes. We'd like to do that. Probably too dark for streaming, bit dark, everybody. So I'm just gonna take yes on the dark part. Does a light source do it for you? What is beyond? <laughs> What's doing it for me? All right. Pineapple. All right. Cause I, I was just wondering. Ah, I keep hitting. I'm gonna I'm gonna switch those buttons so I can stop doing this. Stop hitting heal. Um. Yeah. I was just wondering if we're gonna have to do something about streamers if the game's too dark. I was thinking we were just band streaming. As someone who puts everything in dark mode, I was digging the blind playthrough experience. Ah, unique selling point. Oh, we should be checking these guys for... For, uh... Sorry, Eminem is not Twitch compatible. We catch you streaming. Without a light source. Does light source uh, have to be just a radius around the player? I always found it weird that they never focused in a direction like with a lamp. We've talked about directional light sources and stuff like that. Um, one of these days, if we if we get our if we get our wish, if we've got the time and the in inclination, then it'd be cool to do some stuff like that. That would be that would be some fun scuttlebutt. Speaking of scuttlebutt, what's this beetle doing? That'd be something. All the streamers are complaining the game's too dark, so we just ban them. Oh my gosh. That would be so controversial. Straight to jail. Everybody be like, what sense does that make? How are you going to promote the game if you're banning all the streamers for complaining about it being too dark? But there'd be a percentage of you out there that'd be like, oh my god. The Eminem folks, they're so dreamy. They just don't care. I'm a rebel, Dottie. Part of the terms of service they agree to when signing up for an account. Not allowed to complain about darkness on Twitch. <laughs> There's a separate button. <laughs> There's just a separate button that you have to click through. It's just an entirely separate click through.
Oh gosh, I gotta move this button. Oh man, he's freaking out. Are you freaking out, Snake? I noticed Sparrow got all quiet after I made a joke about banning streamers. Oh man. Background music is very chill, by the way. It is. Megaton, our very own Robert did all the music. If you uh, if you want to listen to play playlist on your own time, there it is. Whole playlist is up on YouTube. Are we oh almost level four. A cloud sack ninja. How you doing, buddy? Um, John said on a more serious note, have you thought, have you given any thought to Twitch integration slash drops? Well, I don't know what we would drop because we don't, we don't ever want to break the the barrier into game. But interesting Twitch integrations, Vikonos saying, have you guys thought about it? Uh, remember seeing an extension for a game that let you see the page of the character page of the streamer? Yeah, so we had, um, early on, we talked uh, about some ideas with Ollie on that, but it's just been one of those things that's like been such a low priority that it hasn't come up. But one of these days when we're getting closer to going live, it'd be cool to talk about some of that. Like being able to um, being able to inspect, like you said, inspect the the streamer. Maybe inspect other players. Maybe click on mobs. Do light sources interfere with the wielding of shields? Um, some do, like this this one does, because I can't put it on my belt. If I had a lantern, I could hook it onto my belt. Twitch drop, extra big fire in the plane of meat. Shatarg. I guess I guess we could put stuff in the Yeah, in the plane of meat, but still that still feels like cheating. Cheat. Um Let's go down here and watch the sunrise. Would you consider things like a uh, different color or a skin, for example? Nothing, nothing in game can, can be earned out of game. Because everything that we put in game that is cool should be something you earn in game. Every little thing.
Could you possibly earn terrible things via Twitch drops then? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't think that would be good. A filthy sock? Still. I'd rather you earn a filthy sock in game by exploration. Slash look under bed. Um, all right, so for those of you that haven't been around in a while, GM on. I'm gonna fly up real quick, Zukin. Oh shit, Zukin's got a. Zukin pulled. Where's Zukin going with the pull? After this. Can you share your soundtrack playlist? Thanks. Uh, yeah, right here. Oh, we wrecked it. Boom! For a level up. Level four. All right. Zukin, I'm going to fly up and show the people that haven't been here since like the days of capsules. We'll fly up and show you the city. The city's about to become a lot prettier too. So we're about to do a big texture pass on Night Harbor with um, new textures and a crazy shader that we made that makes stuff look real nice. So that's gonna be coming up. Sixteen times the details, at least. And with the new shader, it'll probably be e easier to see the individual buildings. All right, fly off. We've got new water audio as well. Audio, is that something? I don't know. If not, you should trademark it. Here, let's I'm gonna I'm gonna pause the music for a second. Then we're gonna we're gonna hop back in the water. What happens if I try to cast this spell in here? Yeah, so Robert Robert just hooked that up. Is the time you can hold your breath a placeholder or will uh, you always be able to dive that long? Um we'll we'll probably be tweaking that as we go. Adieu. Thanks, Sean. Teaching us Canadian. 
That sells it. We should keep Robert. I think we might. He will be pleased to know that we like him. Can you play Eminem with a 4-3 monitor? Dude, I am so... Technically and hardwarely illiterate. I don't know. I don't know, but that is a good question to ask, Fabrizio. Ask Ali that shit in Discord. Here's our Discord if you're not... I know you know where it is, but for other people that are new here. If there are any new people here. Are there any new people here? Sometimes I get to stream and I'm like, these guys have seen all this shit before. Like I said at the beginning of the stream, I was going to think of like some actual work work to do on stream. But then I got real busy with a meeting for like an hour before the stream and then I didn't know what to do. So it's was like, let's play the game. And then Ali and Nick was like, oh yeah, there have been changes to... Uh, AC and other stuff, so you should play the game. I was like, perfect. You've been a person for decades? Nice. I hope you I hope you choose to stay that way. I'm not a number. You'd love to see it over and over again. Well, that's good. That's good because we were talking about this the other day. Even as we start to work on some zones that you guys have never seen before, we're not going to do it on stream. We're going to hide them from you. We're going to be sneaky. We may give you a, we may give you a little sample every once in a while, but. I've never heard the halfling female jump before. I mean, you'll get you'll get little sneak peeks. Don't get too sad, but but then that'll that'll be even cooler when we have play tests. We'll just keep showing you the same zones. Save a branch of the game just for the stream so it never changes. Alright, so... We're hitting that time of night in the stream. <laughs> Complera Games has seen Fire Beetle for decades. We're still working on Night Harbor. <laughs> um, so, is there anybody I can raid in a little bit? Is anybody streaming? Zukin, are you streaming? Playing it would be even better, right? That's what we want to save it for. Don't do it, John. We are nice people. You mean that Ubisoft game? What? Huh. Zuki, so you stream it? The quadruple A game, yes. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Um, yeah, Zukin, if you start streaming, then we can just, we can, I can just pass the mic. Bones. I heard you want to play Black Flag, but without any of the fun parts, say no more. 
Boarding another ship? You don't need that. The title didn't lie, the game is bare bones. Ooh, ouch. I'm going to assume that Zukin is loading up his stream and that's why he has gone stationary. So we did four levels in three hours. I have two items that were given to me from Zukin. I have done no shopping of any sort. Seems kind of fast leveling. Mm -hmm. It gives us something to think about. Never then something to think about. I listen to a lot of eighties music when I'm working. Yeah, as long as that's not the pace all the way through though. Yeah. That one's that's easy to Yeah, I can I can already guarantee that. Not all the way through. Put the hooks in early, then slow the bus. Hey kid, hey. I heard you want some levels. Yeah, we'll give you the first few levels for free. Come on, try it out. This is Ollie's house. I have my GM flag turned on so I can open his door at least. GM off. Want some levels? Come on, man. I'll make you feel good. Who do you like earning levels? Alright, for those of you that haven't been here, here in a while and you haven't read the updates and all that stuff, remember I was telling you Night Harbor is going to look different? So this is, you're seeing the shader blending here, or the texture blending through the shader here. You see it on the walls as well. New trim sheets being applied. So we're prepping Night Harbor to get the, the, the business. Or is it because, uh, no, I'm just not clicking right. What? What? What's the inspiration for the halfling here? Uh, you'll have to ask either Zukin or Goblin on that one. When I saw the concept art, it just reminded me of my, my friends back in Alabama when I was a teenager. Like the country kids that always had the weed. They'd kind of look like this a bit, especially when you see them in the blue jeans. And we've got some pants that look like blue jeans. And uh, he definitely looks like that, that country kid that was cool. Donnie and Marie Osmond, fair enough. Uh, 
Yeah, so, and then uh, you can see just basically how the light works with the um, the geometry a lot better. Really makes things look a lot better. And who is saying that? I love that there's hands in the street and stuff. Yeah, essentially it's just, uh, I've mentioned this on past streams, so sorry for repeating myself. But you can see where it's blending, where the plaster's full but then when when it's just kind of scraped thin it's reading the it's reading the height data essentially in the texture so where it's darker that means it's deeper so it knows to fill in that crack with plaster and then it looks like it just got a little bit crazier with with the painting it on here so yeah it's it's a cool way for us to to really kind of stretch out the because this floor texture here is the same as the wall texture just different so, got my character names, Donnie and Marie. That is actually pretty dope. Oh, shit. Um, so, Zukin says he is fired up. He's ready to go. And let me just run over here real quick. Oh, shit. I went to the wrong place. I jumped off. Let me... Some more details. Cool. All right. So let me find Zukin. And what we'll do is I'm going to wrap up for tonight. It's 11 p.m. my time. I appreciate everybody being here. But what we'll do is we'll raid Zukin. And you can see him do some stuff. He said that he's not going to be doing his usual thing. He's going to be doing some research so not the usual stuff but I got the feeling that it'll be cool stuff and Zukin's always fun to chat with because he's a smart ass Sparrow have a great night Kenji see ya see you John you guys dead sexy see you see you Fabrizio but everybody stick around for the raid Isan thank you for being here my friend so Zukin sculpts. Zukin, it says you're you're playing oh, is that what research is? You're playing Dragon's Dogma? Is that what's going on? Alright, I see how it is. I'm gonna start the raid. Chaz Solo, I see you back there. Everybody that I miss, um we'll 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 say a proper good night next time. Alright. Let's read.